What's good, Geezer Gang? We're coming to you live, but not live, from London, our home. We've just started this beautiful day with a park run. It was a very muddy park run, not as muddy as yesterday's one, but felt like I got muddier without falling over. But it was a lovely day just to get out, just get some fresh air. But there seems to be a problem. I can't figure out where Jojo has gone. So I might need you, Geezer Gang. Oh, there he is. With Aragog here. You're having a little party in, in the cave with Aragog. Okay, let's go. Are you staying in there for the whole day? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I feel really good. Gonna start off though, making some juice. Juice is fueled after a run. I don't know if Aragog appreciates being treated like a space hopper. No, he likes it. Ow, ow, you gang. He's not the hardy, must be better. Why is Aragog here? Daddy, do you know why Aragog's here? Well, spiders like to climb up on the side in the kitchen sometimes, don't they? I think not. I just like it. Okay. Makes me happy. What's this? Aragog, are you having some sort of meeting over here? But Jojo has interrupted me doing the juice because he wanted to let me know of something very, very important, which I think you guys should know as well. That basically, Aragog, Garrett's Pinky, the subscribe cushion and the YouTube cushion that we have are apparently all having a very important meeting about YouTube. Is that right, Jojo? Yes. Are they discussing the future of our channel? Uh, yeah, yeah, they're trying to they're trying to edit videos and make stuff better. Have they taken over Geezer Family Productions? Yeah. They're just trying to help with all the editing and stuff. Back to juicing! So what's happened now? They've finished a the meeting and now They've won to look at fun and games. Fun and games. The subscribe cushion and Garrett Pinky are playing <laughs> top drums. Someone's been building some models and Aragog's just having a good old play with dinosaurs. Oh dragons, di yeah, they're dragons, aren't they? And the YouTube cushion is casting some magic. Yeah. Just another standard morning then. Yeah. And my, one of them has made this other creature appear. Jamie's back. <coughs> so you just come back from Scotland, didn't you? Mm -hmm. How was it? It was good. Are you feeling better now? How are your knees doing? They're all right. Now what else have we got going on, Jojo? There are two Lego people playing Monopoly. <laughs> two Lego people playing Monopoly. They seem to have earned some properties each already. So you've got one Lego dude over there and this Lego lady over there. Are these guys willing participants? It feels like they've just been forced to play this game. Hello? Hello? Is somebody there? Can somebody help me please? Oh God, I don't like this. I'm just sat here, I can't move. Somebody get me out of here. I'm gonna be stuck here playing this game forever. Ah! 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 Uh, Mr. Potato Heads, he's just playing the iPad, is he? Yeah, what's he playing on the iPad there? Fruit Ninja. Fruit Ninja. Don't blame him, it's a really good game. So some of you have been asking about our distiller and why we distill our water and what's the point of it. Simply put, it heats up the water that's come from your tap. It takes all of the steam and just drops that into a tank and basically leaves only the pure water. And then what's remaining in the tank is all of the stuff that shouldn't really be going in our body. You know, it's all of the chemicals, the metals, other things that they put into our water. And when you see what is left over, makes you wonder if you're gonna to wanna to drink it at all. Yeah, so look, this is like the gunk Ooh. that's in our water in our tap. Now, this part of London, it might be different, but I mean, you can see the residue of stuff what? that's left on the bottom here. Here, look at all that. That is what is in London water. Yeah, look at that. I mean, it could be different wherever you are in London, but just logically, I think I just do not want that in my body. Because of that, you know, we're just, we're just drinking this full time now. Porridge going in well, is it, boy? Mm. Garrett Pinky's passed out there. Obviously defeated at Top Trumps. Oh, no wonder. You had Tito. Tito's rubbish. So we're on our way out, and Katie's here driving exactly where I like her, driving. But I can talk to you guys. Because he's got stuff to do. It's always a work day as far as I'm concerned. I'm always using any spare bit of time I can to do ethics, editing, working on talks, other projects. Where we're off to now, we're on the way to a vegan festival, Vegan Life Live. And we've got a stall there a weekend. I didn't need to be there to help out the stall. Tim and Ben have got it all sorted. But just before we're stepping out the door, I had a bit of drama going on. The cat saga continues. The lady who Katsumir predominantly lived with, she originally had said she would come and collect the kittens tomorrow. We, I think we we mentioned it in a previous video but if you haven't seen that video then yeah you can get up to date she just turned up out of the blue today and just went oh well, you know i'll come and get them now is that okay and i just kind of went yeah okay i just thought from her perspective of this is a cat that she's had for such a long time she maybe knows best she thought it was an inconvenience to yeah us. definitely she was like apologizing oh, i'm sorry this happened i'm sorry this happened and everything i think she just thought it was an inconvenience cut the long story short she comes in with a carry case for the kittens and just picks them up by hand and starts 
yeah. putting them in the carry case. Which we're not sure is the best thing to do with regards to putting your scent on the kittens. Because then what happens, she takes them away and they're gone and we're all a bit like, oh God, was that the right thing to happen? But we weren't too sure. Again, we had to try and bear in mind her perspective. And then Kat Samir Kate <laughs> came back twice. We don't like picking her up, do we? No. But we had to pick her up and take her back there because she's looking for our kittens. She was looking under the de under Jamie's desk. She went to the same spot, started looking around and started meowing at us like, where are they? Yeah. And which meowing. was really distressing oh it was just horrible to see and so we had to take her back because our concern was well you know those kittens won't get any milk and they may not survive so we had to get mum back to the kittens yeah and then yeah, she, she came, came back, back a second another time, time mm. and you just said i need to go and have a word with her i need yeah. to say to her look it might be best to bring the kittens back but then we were worried because the lady's already put her scent on them yeah they, we, she might reject reject that's them. what we're worried about and eventually when i did go and speak to her she goes okay look i'll try and give her one more go with the kittens and if it doesn't work i'll bring them back to you fortunately then she came around and told us that they were feeding hopefully that means that she's set on her but yeah I know a bit of drama. We we're all having just like this calm morning, and then that knock on the door just changed everything. And it was um, like to and froing back at back and forth to her. And obviously, our kids, you know, Sam and Jamie, they could see this going on, and they were really upset. Jojo was kind of none the wiser, really, but Sam was quite upset, and so was Jamie. And it's just hard to see you see this mother kind of going, "Where's my baby? She doesn't mm. understand." And but hopefully, fingers crossed. Now that's it. She will feed the babies. They'll all be okay. So we're heading out to this festival now, though. It's a bit of a drive through London, about an hour. And it's a good festival. I'm looking forward to it. We yeah, brought some raw treats with us. Yeah. I made some balls, chocolate balls. Lots of famous people go there, went there last year, didn't they? Yeah, quite a few. <laughs> David Badil was there. Oh, it was so annoying, right? He, you, he does this all the time. Every time we walk past a famous person, you know it's a famous person. I'm not the sort of person, I don't go up to them. I just think it's a person, just like everybody else, they've got their life, let them be. I would never do that. But then he, you don't go up to him, you just say, there's David Badil. To me, when we're like standing about five meters away from him. Allow me to interject. Let me make it clear. It's not like I see loads of famous, I've worked at a place where I saw famous people all the time. So I don't give a crap about famous people. Yeah, I think what it is, is I make a very loud observation. Yeah, you make a loud observation. It's so embarrassing that you do that. That might be, a, that person's got no trousers on. Yeah, like you said. He had trousers. When we saw Ian Wright at Westfields and you were like, I see Ian Wright or something. Like you always yeah, say Ian Wright, it. right, right. You always say it so the person can hear you. I'm like, they know who they are and I know who they are. Did I tell you about the time when I was 14 years old and I had my headphones on and there was a guy across the room who looked like Nigel from EastEnders but I had no perception on my volume so I went, that guy over there looks like Nigel from EastEnders and he just turned around and looked at me <laughs> with his big curly hair. My mates were like, shut up. I'm like, what? I didn't have any headphones on these other times so no excuse. Anyway, to the festival. I can't wait to shout at David Badil. Right, we're here. Apparently though, we have to navigate through some sort of wooded car park, wooded area. We actually had a bit of a problem on the way here. We got some petrol. I was like, my wallet. We called Sam. I was like, Sam, can you check out, you know, the bathroom, the kitchen, the front room, check Thank under you. everything, go outside in case I dropped it on the way to the car. You know when you lose stuff and then it just comes to you and I just stopped and went, Katie, it's in your pocket. Because I chucked it in her pocket and just completely oh, forgot. Nick. She stole my wallet. Get up that hill. To the palace. So to get into the palace, it is quite a walk ah. up the hill. But you're getting this nice view of London. Cold London. Oh. Let's all run. It's cold. Come on, mummy, work those stairs. So we're at this festival, Vegan Life Live. We're walking straight towards the music, which is a really, really good idea. Can have a little mooch around now and see what they got. I think Jojo's hungry as well. Probably wants to see his friends at One Planet Pizza. I think that's a yes. Hello. <laughs> All the boys are here. Are you excited? Yeah. How's your raw chocolate ball going in? Yeah. I'll make those. Are you on Planet Pizza? No. So Jojo wants some pizza <laughs> and hey, hello. And we're struggling to find where the pizza place is for playing pizza. Where's well, the pizza place, mummy? Use your nose, follow the smell. Yeah, lots of food smells, I just can't smell it. Where? Over there. Where? Over there. Where? Over there. Go. Oh, Jojo, right. they've sold out of pizza. There's probably more pizza somewhere else though, Jojo, if you really want pizza. This is Mike, One Planet Pizza, you might have seen this. He's the reason for an upset boy there. <laughs> Completely sold out, Strel. We have. I'm Two afraid. days in a row. 2.30, 3 o'clock, what can I say? That's how good the pizza is. Yeah, you must be selling good pizza. pizza. Yeah, we'll do it next time, we'll make more. <laughs> <laughs> one million and a thousand and fifty pizzas, and what now? In one year. What are you getting, Jojo? Mac and cheese. There's the mac, there's the cheese. Are they hugging? Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh.
<laughs> oh god. Thank you. How will we draw mac and cheese, so? Good. Good? Is that nice? Yeah. Leftovers, Daddy. Daddy Dustbin. We've all decided that mac and cheese is worth it. Right? The professional taste tester. Mm. After you've had that, do you want to go and work on the stall for a bit? Do it now. Do it now. Yeah. All right. Stop giving me non-raw products. I really don't want them. <laughs> so he's going to work on the ethics stall. This should be interesting. I'm not too sure about his customer service uh, attitude, though. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's a, it's a 3D. <laughs> <laughs> Jojo wants to work here, by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah, he wants to help you guys out. We need a CV. You're going to put him through we the ropes? Yeah, we need a CV. Have you got any uh, experience in retail? This is your work, is it? Dealing crisps. Thank you. Where's the money? Close the deal. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> I like his attitude. The only thing I'm concerned with is closers. Customer service, I don't care. I want closers, alright? Yeah. Look, look, pay attention to your customers. Judge, what happened? They left. Couldn't you get them to buy anything? You've got to work on your sales technique. Okay, maybe the next person. Go for it. <laughs> Judge, that, that's what kind of customer? Put your hippies down and serve your customer. Everything. Stop going back to the hippies. It is 20. If you buy something, you can get 20 pounds. 20. I get the hippies. I'm going to get the medium, is that okay? What was that? You just, there you go. <laughs> you, just, you just lumped it in his hand. Yeah. I'm not going to fold it. You're going to take the card off him for payment. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's just checking over the card. <laughs> Is that real? Is it real? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now you can sort that out. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> Delegation. That's yeah, shirking. DNA, more yeah. like. Someone's got to take over the empire one day. <laughs> so Jojo, your first sale. Here's your payment. Although you should probably give one to Ben because he did, you know, close the payment. Jojo, I thought this was a vegan festival, not a wrestling festival. You're supposed to be working. Get back on that stool, Jojo. So Jojo's given up his responsibility already. He left me to pack up the stall. He's gone off a bench just messing around. But he, he did all right. He made a couple of sales. He earned his hippies. Both of those packs of hippies have gone, by the way. Well, that's his payment. So we don't have to give him any money? No. Oh. It's all packed up now. We had Jojo hid on the stall because they have this thing of not having kids around when people are packing up. So I think they're worried about kids getting hurt with big equipment going around. But it's like, just trust parents to look after the kids. It's not that hard. So yeah, Katie and Jojo had to go outside and I don't know how to find them. So, oh, out this way, I don't know. But yeah, I've got to try and find them. There you are. We found a temple. A temple, yeah. nice. Not every vegan festival has a jungle temple, does it? Where have you been, Daddy? I'm packing the store and then just finding every single exit, which isn't this one. What's that? I think it's a... You like that one, Mummy? Look at London. Yeah, we've come out to this beautiful lit up London. It's very cold and fresh. It's a nice view though. See the shard. So Jojo, how did you enjoy the festival? Good. Did you enjoy working on the stall as well? Yeah. You did very well with those customers, didn't you? Oh, I guess yeah. you're taking yeah. it over. But I wasn't too happy. That was is a that, heavy kiss. Is that your new job? Yeah. Jojo's new job. I, but, I earn money from it. 
You earn money from it. It looked like you earn money more from fighting <laughs> Ben and messing around with Ben. I thought um, ethics didn't do child labour. <gasps> oh no, ethical code broken. <laughs> Sorry, you're fine. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Give it a big thumbs up. That's right, Jojo, if you have enjoyed it. And if you're new to this channel and you love following our crazy adventures around the world, around London, we'd love it if you subscribe to join the Geezer Gang. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. It's cold. Let's go home. No one can mess me up now.